Okay, well, I just thought I'd make kind of a quick video here. I looked around on on YouTube, and I, I didn't see a lot of information about leaks on the pickup truck. Uh, so my truck is a Toyota 1990. And I noticed that I was, during rainstorms, when the truck was parked outside, I was getting some leaking on the uh, floor mats on the driver's side. Did a little research online and I, I saw people talking about that, that there's body seams here and also drains for the cow. So I don't think, if you look in here, I don't think I have any rusting with regard to the drainage areas for the cowling, but there's a couple suspicious areas here. I've, as you can see, I've got a, a little rust spot, so that's suspicious. I'm wondering if water is kind of dripping down past this area. The other thing, as you can see, there's a, a body seam here, and in my case, there's kind of some separation, so I'm thinking maybe, you know, maybe water is kind of coming down around here down from here and on my cowling I just kind of have a piece of weather stripping and it just sits there um, so uh, you know a fair amount of water should come get down into this area I think so and then also it's a little hard to see but if you kind of look in there uh, let me grab my flashlight here if you if you kind of look in there um, with some light, you can maybe kind of get it here. Yeah, uh, let's see here. you can kind of see I have a little crack there. So what I'm going to do is, and and there's a drainage hole right above it, from what I can see. So I, I think what I'm going to do is see clean up, you know, kind of the the dust, and put some black ultra black RTV sealant on some of these these areas for now to just kind of get a, a watertight seal. I don't see any problem around this grommet. Uh, and see if that will put a stop to the little kind of dripping that is getting into the truck somewhere and then following some little hose or cable or something and then dripping down where my uh, feet would be there uh, like I say it it only happens in a pretty pretty big downpour and it's not a huge amount of water but it's starting to be enough to concern me about uh, having water getting into the truck and then also just for anyone on YouTube who's you know kind of curious about the process of getting the fender off uh, I did want to comment that it can be done without removing you know your bumper which is kind of nice you do need to uh, remove the the little side lamp right here but then after that you've just got some 10 millimeters one two three f i think there's four here and then open the door and there's one right in there and these are all 10 millimeters so it's pretty straightforward and then there's two on the bottom uh and then there's two up front but you uh, there's you can kind of just uh, there's there's one right there and then there's kind of one on this little deal here but you can kind of just slip a wrench in and get it now on my particular vehicle I don't have the uh, fit inner fender wells I I took those off and threw them away a long time ago so uh, I don't have to continue with that if you have the if you still have the inner fender wells on your truck then of course uh, there's going to be some little uh, bolts that kind of hold that affair in uh, to the body and also you know over here to the fender like I say I don't I don't have that on my truck but um, you know just for anyone who's curious like oh how do I get my fender off it's actually very straightforward um, just 10 millimeter wrench pop the nuts off and the fender just kind of lifts straight out and for anyone who may be having you know water leaking into the cabin and dripping down on their carpet or the floor mats or whatever uh, you can kind of see you know there's some body seams that have to be sealed here and that could allow water to get in 
I saw on some of the forums people had rust in this area. Uh, in my particular case, I have a feeling it's either this area here, which is kind of lifted and separated, or it's this uh, very suspicious little rust hole here, maybe letting water get in and head that direction. So, and as, as I say, I'm going to use just some ultra black uh, RTV sealant, like what I did to seal around my windshield here. Uh, it's pretty durable stuff. Now they do make a product called Sikaflex. I forget the exact number, but I'll put it in the description. Uh, it's a very good body sealant also. Um, it's like Sikaflex 222 or something like that. And it's actually what uh, Airstream uses to seal the seams on those uh, aluminum Airstream trailers. Um, so uh, it's, it's very good when it comes to sealing out weather. I don't have any, I don't think, and I just want to get this sealed up for now. So like I said, I'm going to use uh, uh, Ultra Black. Uh, RTV, which is uh, also very, very good. So, so for anyone who's facing either, how do we, how do you remove the fender and can it be done without taking my bumper off, or water getting into the cabin on either side, this maybe kind of gives you a little bit of a roadmap uh, as far as where there may be some some things to check. I just wanted to kind of show some of these body scenes. I was thinking there might be more in under here but it doesn't appear that there's a lot going on in there um, but there very definitely are some little drain holes and so forth so all right uh i'm in the process of working on a couple other things on the truck i've been messing around with the uh, air fuel ratio in an attempt to get higher gas mileage if you saw my other video you saw i have a thing for changing the air uh, fuel ratio under wide open throttle and so i'm kind of messing around with adjusting the uh the wheel uh, inside here and seeing if what kind of gas mileage i can get from the truck by running things a little bit leaner when cruising so I've been doing some research on that and depending on what I find, maybe, maybe have a video on that, but, um, all right. Hope this video has been kind of, of interest and if you have any questions on anything, feel free to use the comment section below, below there. Uh, channel's almost up to 6,000 subscribers, so that's pretty exciting. If you enjoy, uh, kind of this kind of content, uh, regarding the truck, uh, please uh, consider subscribing also. All right. Thanks for watching.